All right, this is it. Probably the most expected item that everybody's been asking me to come see. I'm here with Mark from Short Action Customs, and what do we have here? We've got our Nexus press. It's uh, debut day. And uh, we've been working on this press for over a year. And what we wanted to accomplish and did accomplish is a, a press that offers a very strong, consistent cam over action combined with hard mechanical stop built into the press assembly. And what that does is it completely eliminates any need for the die to touch a shell holder. So all of the, the pressure, the travel, and the mechanical stop is built into the press, and your shell holder and your die fully float. So that way they're not under any pressure, because there's, you know, there's, there's competition shell holders, there's all types of games that people play with their shell holder and die, and we completely eliminate that. So if you need more sizing, you screw your die down. If you need less sizing, you bring it back up. And all of the, the consistency is built into the press inherently. So um, that's something that we wanted just to address and eliminate from the equation is people worrying about their die touching the shell holder. So you've got all the, the travel and the consistency built right in. We designed it with a dual ball bearing retention system that interfaces with the die body. So if you've got you know, an RCBS die with their lock ring, it oh, works wow. perfectly fine. It doesn't matter what lock ring because the die is retained from the die body. We also designed it to where this floating die block has a one inch cutout. So it's already uh, available to run a one inch die. We're planning on making them soon, but you would just replace this top plate here. And the top plate allows there to be a minor amount of radial float just to help center everything up. We have a straight inline primer drop system, so the primers have nowhere to go but into a little container or into a, uh, a tube. We have a quick change toolless uh, shell holder system that has a convex and concave geometry that's allowed to float. So if there's any type of angular misalignment, that's compensated for. There shouldn't be any because the way this press is made and one of the benefits of it is when you bring the handle down, it's compressing and sandwiching together, and it's inherently a lot more stress-free than having this ram run up and try to separate and bulge and um, move the press. So by bringing it down, there's a lot less stress in the system and you get a lot more consistency. Okay. So we have a really big open wide area to work out of. Uh, it's ambidextrous. We've got multiple handle lengths available. If oh, wow. someone wants something shorter for just you know, popping out primers, that's available. The, the hard cam stops can be removed. We make thicker ones that can go in there and you would use this if you didn't want to spend the energy camming and locking out the system. Let's say you wanted to pop primers, you wanted to see bullets, you wanted to expand necks. You still have a hard mechanical stop that it hits every single time, but you don't have all the travel required. So that's one of the simple easy features that we added. You can also eliminate the primer drop tube, and when these hard stops sit in the little pocket back here, that'll completely uh, hold your, your shell holder system in place. Okay. So we wanted to make a press that had a dual floating shell holder, everything's quick change and toolless, and it worked really well with everybody's dies. One of the other key features is our shell holder has about 10 thousandths less it's, it's 115 thousandths from the bolt face to the top, which is about 10,000 less than most. And what that allows you to do is, A, you no longer have to machine a die to get the proper headspace. Uh, so, you know, there's a lot of dies we've used over the years where you have to do that. Yeah. So that gives you 10 thousandths more room right there. And B, you know, if you ever wanted to run your die down deeper, you're just not gonna touch your shell holder. It's completely eliminated from the equation. Um, everything is made from 4140 pre-hardened steel. Everything is nitrided. Uh, all the aluminum is Type 3 hard coat anodized. We have precision ground linear guide bearing or guide rods with uh, bearing sleeves in there. It's going to come standard with four shell holders, which are proprietary to the uh, Nexus Press. It'll cover the majority of cartridges. Yep, we'll have all the standard ones. We'll have everything available. 
But uh, we wanted to create the strongest, most rigid press that has the most consistent cam over and travel of the die system, and I think we've accomplished that. So it's it's super easy to use. It's nice and smooth. It's it's just been a home run. We've had a lot of success with it. That's very very cool. And what are you expecting the uh, retail price to be? Seven hundred and seventy five. Okay. Wow. So we tried to be as absolutely competitive on the pricing as possible, and we're going to have the first unit shipping uh, March. Uh, early April to absolute latest. It's, uh, I had seen kind of the advanced release, you know, that was out. Yeah. And I will tell you, in my head, I expected it to be more than that. So I'm a little shocked yeah. to hear that. Yeah, we, <laughs> it, we probably should have it as a higher <laughs> price, you know, because we've got a lot of development in there. We've been working on this for over a year. But as a manufacturer dies, we just, we know that there's so many issues associated with cell holders. There's so much, um, you know, conventional wisdom from, you know, my Uncle Bill told me you're always supposed to do this, and that's just simply not true. So our system completely eliminates any type of um, issues that you have with dies and shell holders, and you yeah. get that hard mechanical stop every single cycle. And uh, so how many uh, die holders will it come with? Uh, is Well, it'll, it'll come with three shell holders. Three shell holders. And then this top locking plate for the lock ring. Okay. Uh, a one inch version will be an additional accessory. So if you wanted to run a one inch die, you would just simply replace this top plate. And will it have any lock rings with it? Uh, I don't know, I'll have to check. Okay. But it, it won't matter what lock ring you run, as long as you have a standard lock ring, it'll work fine because of the way our detent system works. Okay, that is, so. uh, that is super awesome. Well, I know everybody's been talking about this since it was first kind of leaked or put out there. and. Yeah. Uh, Really, really excited to see this on day one. Appreciate it. And it is just, I mean, stupidly smooth. And I know the cam over thing is something that gets talked about a lot. Yeah. There are presses out there that are, you know, uh, pretty well made, but don't have a cam over effect. And I've had a number of people tell me that that's been their number one, you know, wish list item is something that cams over uh, right. consistently so that you can get really good sizing consistency. And it looks like you nailed it with this. Yeah. I mean, you're leaving performance you know, off the table by not having a cam over system because the cam over linkage gives you the most consistent pressure and travel generated. And then when you add the hard mechanical stops that are completely independent of your die and your show holder, you've got the most consistent travel up and down every single cycle. Yeah, that is phenomenal. Well, hey, Mark, I really appreciate you Thank giving you. us that first appreciate look it. at it. And uh, so there you have it, the Nexus from Short Action Customs. We'll be back here tomorrow to go over a bunch of their other products. You guys have already seen a bunch in my shop, but uh, I'm a sucker for this stuff. They make incredible products, and uh, we'll be back there tomorrow. So thanks again, Mark. Thank you.